Do supernatural entities exist? No, not exactly. The closest approximation to supernatural entities that do exist are what I call metaphors or fourth spatial dimensional shapes made of tachyon fields of zero point energy in hyperspace. These shapes are complex and seem to retain information, but they do not appear to be alive in the same sense as a soul, which is also complex and remembers information, may be said to be alive. Their movements appear to be involuntary. They arise like tachyon lens flare around gravity wells, such as black holes, stars, planets, moons, etc. And their motions are subject to the invisible currents of tachyon winds that churn the entropy of space-time. Because they are fourth spatial dimensional, they may apparently break certain rules governing our own three-dimensional universe with its single added direction of time. These metaform objects may break through into our universal space, partially here and now, and simultaneously, partially there and then, at some other place in space, and some other time than now, and thus serve to connect these two distant points like a wormhole or time tunnel. These metaform shapes are four space polygons, but may occasionally assume a regular pattern as well, like a tesseract or hypercube, a hypertetrahedron or simplex, and a cross polytope or orthoplex, etc. When Ezekiel perceived such shapes, he considered them a divine throne chariot made of wheels within wheels that served as a vessel containing intelligent beings, or so-called angels. When the Vedas describe the comings and goings of the Hindu deities, they describe a class of flying vessels called Vimana that they could travel through space and time in. These metaform shapes are not alive alike us, but do contain intelligence and may have originally inspired the notion of angels and aliens. These metaforms often appear to people under heavy doses of DMT or LSD as kaleidoscopic prismatic abstractions with complex encrypted information pulsing on their surfaces. Buddhists describe their psychological impact on a person who experiences them as peaceful or wrathful deities, depending entirely on one's state of mind. Terence McKenna described them as mechanical elves due to their symmetries resembling gears and their movements resembling those of miniature robotic automatons. Because these encounters are all mentally perceived, the same metaforms one person perceives with their mind's eye may remain invisible, intangible, and even ultimately ineffable to someone else who is sober and skeptical. Thus, the existence of these metaforms as supernatural entities remains an empirically unsubstantiated belief.